Garth Brooks, Tom Hanks, Demi Lovato, the list just keeps going on, Justin Timberlake, John Bon Jovi, and Aunt Clemens. They're all be performing at the inauguration or for the primetime event, which is called Celebrate America. You know, this is in stark contrast to Trump's inauguration just four years ago, where little to no celebrities performed. And you know, this doesn't come as a surprise to us because over Trump's administration, we've seen celebrities bash the president and say some pretty vile things, Sean. Listen to these. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Ooh, yikes. Uh, to discuss this, let's bring in friend of the show and the host of America First with Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Seb, welcome to the show. Good to have you back. Great to be back. Thank you, guys. All right. Well, none of the people that we showed in that clip are those who are singing on stage or uh, whenever it will be for tomorrow. But at the same time, this is the Hollywood brethren that are uniting to say, let's unite the country. You know, I didn't think that we were going to see the Super Bowl halftime show this early, but that's what we're getting tomorrow. <laughs> you know, do you feel like this is the right move to try to unite the country? I mean, that's what Biden keeps saying his goal is. Let's be clear. This is a clown car of hypocrisy from the 27,000 National Guardsmen, the razor wire, the peace and unity but let's blacklist you if you're a conservative. If you're Mike Lindell, we're going to blackball you from Coles or Bed Bath & Beyond. If, if you're OAN, if you're Newsmax, then the cable companies have to ditch you. These are the biggest hypocrites in the known universe. They preach love and harmony and hugging trees, but they want to put us in, and this isn't a joke, re-education. They want to, Katie Couric wants to deprogram us. Do you know who talks about deprogramming? Two types of politicians, Nazis and communists. Oh, I missed one, Democrats. Well, that's three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, Hey, that's I, new math. Uh, that's Democrat math. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. It, it's, um, it just, it, it blows my mind. It's they, they just keep going back to these folks um, in Hollywood, somehow thinking that that's what people want. I, I don't need, you know, all of these left-wing Hollywood woke folks to come and tell us their views on all these policies. I mean, I, I want to maybe watch in a movie, and even that's questionable at times. But the, the go-to move for Democrats is let's get Lady Gaga and Madonna and a bunch of people to sing and, and showcase this. They don't want to talk about their policies. They don't want to talk about the future. It's almost like a sideshow or a distraction from what's happening on. And it's the same thing that they do every time for an election for this. It's let's bring in the Hollywood team and kind of distract you from actually the policies. You're exactly right, Sean. And that's why they're going to have this so-called, you know, um, impeachment, this sham impeachment continue in the Senate. Biden, Biden is letting this happen. He said, oh, that's up to the Senate. Well, hang on a second. If you want to be about peace and harmony, that's the man who got 74 million Americans to vote for him. I spoke to the president on Sunday. I rang him in the White House. We discussed these issues. And you're right. This is meant to distract you. Look at over this shiny object over here called impeachment, because this is going to be it is. I tell you right now, however long Biden lasts, in, in office, whenever he gets replaced by cackling Kamala, whether it's China, whether it's immigration, whether it's the caravan, whether it's Iran, this next four years is going to be a disaster. And they need celebrities, they need the clown car to distract us from just how bad this administration is going to be. You know, it's interesting, Seb, Sean and I were talking about this earlier, but, you know, Biden keeps saying that he's going to unite the country, but what has he actually done to prove his words have any weight to them? And to Sean's point, again, you have these celebrities who are championing these words, but we have seen in that clip that we played earlier, it, it, it is not true for what they're going to say. And I think this was interesting. Um, this was in People magazine, but they were saying that the inaugural team is calling, you know, this 
uh, Unite America, a capstone to showcase the American people's resilience, heroism, and united commitment to coming together. Um, well, if you really want to come together, then let's see some bipartisanship here, but you're not seeing that at all. If you want to unite America, you should be absolutely explicit in condemning the violence we've seen across this country, not on January the 6th, but for the last 10 months, when you've seen 700 police officers wounded, when you've seen $3 billion worth of damage done to the U.S. economy, when you've seen 30 Americans, half of them black or minority, killed by Black Lives Matter or Antifa? Where was the call for unity? Where, where was the razor wire in the National Guard when they tried to burn down St. John's Episcopal Church one block from the White House? Muriel Bowser, the mayor of Washington, D.C., sent the National Guard packing. Now, when the Democrats feel afraid, oh, two divisions worth of guardsmen need to come into D.C. and turn it into a war zone? It's an outrage. These people preach water and they drink wine. Mm. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate. And, and we got to see there be some weight to his words because there hasn't been any yet. So he either has to stop saying it or start putting, uh, you know, some weight behind that. But, Seb, thanks for being here to, to break it down for us. There's definitely going to be a lot more to talk about in the days to come. Oh, so yes. we'll have you back soon. Thanks, guys.